Hey guys, Jules coming at you with another reasoning session. Today I'm going to be covering on how having faith is not just in your head. You got to start acting on that faith in order to start reaping the rewards in the physical realm. Come now and let us reason together. So I made a couple videos talking on this before. Really, you know, faith without works is really dead. And it's even exemplified in the woman that touched the hem of Jesus' garment in order to be made whole. Jesus says that it was her faith that made her whole, even though her whole reasoning was that if I but touch the hem of his robe. But I'm just going to jump straight into it again today. And if you like these videos, you can follow me either on Rumble or on Zap It. I post on there as well because YouTube is really playing around with the algorithm but I'm not gonna complain this message is still coming out I'm just moving these videos to other platforms because the light is shining and we literally are taking this realm back for source back for truth and back for divine light but I'm gonna go over some of the examples from the faith chapter in the Bible this is the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews and in there we see that faith is the substance of things that we hope for, the evidence for things that we do not see. And then the writer goes into examples of how different characters from the scriptures exemplified faith. And pretty much all of them explain that faith is the action that they took based on the conviction that they had that what they had faith in was a reality. So I'm just going to go over this briefly and we're going to see by example that faith is actually acting on this inner conviction. It's not just something that exists in your head and then poof it manifests. You got to act on it and then and only then you reap the rewards in the physical. So in the fourth verse it says by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Right there we see that Abel offered the sacrifice because he had this assurance in his heart moving on a couple verses we see by faith Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet moved with fear prepared an ark there you go again the action that he took was to prepare that ark which ended up saving him and his family by faith Abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out, not knowing where he went, but he obeyed and he went out. That's an action. By faith he sojourned, or stayed, in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. And it says, Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child. So she bore a child. If you know anything about that, there's a bit of action involved in that too. And we read this time after time after time. Action is always involved. By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. Another action. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Giving that blessing is an action. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph. Again, another blessing that takes the form of action. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention, another action, of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents. So his parents had that faith and they took action by hiding him in the first place. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. There you go, another action. That denial of assumption of that office in Pharaoh's house was actually the action that was needed to get him to the place where he could actually lead the children of Israel across the Red Sea and into the entrance of the Promised Land. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. See, Moses was the very hand that source used to bring that law, that knowledge of what Yahweh embodies, the seed and the harvest that all of creation comes under. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians, as saying to do, were drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho 
fell down after they were compassed about seven days. So that very marching around Jericho, it's easy to say, well, what's this going to do? But by faith they did it, and it was by faith that it actually manifested as those walls falling down. By faith the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. And then the writer goes on to say, And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions like Daniel did, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, like the prophet Isaiah, were tempted, were slain with the sword, they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth, and these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. So these guys all went through all these hardships and yet they didn't touch on the level of faith that you and I can touch as we tap into the living logos through Jesus Christ. We can actually manifest the kingdom of heaven in this earth without any limits, without any circumstances because the kingdom of darkness is subject to the name of Jesus and there's nothing, nothing at all that can stand against the authority in that power. So tap in guys, this is a great time to be alive and we were born for such a time as this in order to fulfill our destiny and literally manifest the kingdom of heaven in this earth. That is what we're here for. We're here to create utopia and there's nothing, nothing that the kingdom of darkness can do that will hold us back from that. So I love you guys. I'll check you in the next reasoning sesh. Joel signing out once again. Agape. Salam. Namaste. Shalom.